resume job application expectation any issues that you are facing in getting calls anything go for it sir what what are the top questions asked in iso information security officer or managers uh, uh, interview what are the top questions asked for uh, from an info what is the job role uh, what is the experience if if you tell if you can be specific about that uh, maybe we can try so to... so the job experience would be uh, you know, are you talking about ciso are you or are you talking about information security officer in information security officer okay information so now this role in itself information security officer is a gray area so i'll tell you if you know by yourself you can expand the profile i'll be able to tell you otherwise i can elaborate a little bit on information security officer profile whatever works for you yeah so you know the the job requires like 8 uh, to 10 years of experience as a info security info sec manager and uh, the part is handling the information or RS, isms division of a company okay so that is information security manager that's not an information security officer an information yeah. security officer is typically 3 to 4 years of experience guy who has experience in audit yes who has experience in compliance and information security officer is kind of meant to uh enforce and maintain policies procedures and guidelines and and contribute to uh, re, uh, updating or keeping the policies procedures guidelines controls up to date with the coming threats and attacks he is also expected to uh, help in the management of the uh, isms or the security uh, risk management he is an integral part of the risk management team he is support he is supposed to help in the creation of the dashboards and the kpis dashboards and kpis required for uh, the senior management so he is kind of a person who interacts with the people on the ground he who is the person who gets the job done he is the link between the management uh, this management information security management and the people on ground who are getting the job done that is kind of a profile of an information security officer it starts somewhere uh, about 2 years 3 years it depends from organization over and goes up to 5 years once you are above the 5 years 8 years of experience then you become an information security manager those expectations are completely different so is is am i understanding this uh, information security officer profile correct or are you talking about the manager profile no 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 i am talking about the manager but but you explained it very well that for other you know other participants benefit what is the difference and just one more question i want to ask here on information security manager has he has to be highly technical in in terms of understanding how technology work how network works or the knowledge of the iso uh, will work in fact uh, understanding of isms for an information security manager should be a prerequisite an information security manager should understand what an isms is operational knowledge of technology is required i i would say because ultimately if you don't have uh, operational knowledge it kind of hinders your functioning so you don't need to have uh, you it's not required that you have done each and everything that is being on or you have implemented each and every technology or you have hands on on each and every technology but it helps to have an operational knowledge of it you should know what are the steps that are being uh, that would be done typically you should know what it's if we are talking about encryption you should understand the concept of keys you should understand the concept of key exchange you should understand what are the risks uh, involved when implementing an in encryption and what are the considerations that should be made and that can only happen if you have an operational technical knowledge it also depends satminder and other people i'm addressing here Uh, on the kind of role you have because there is a technical lead manager and then there is a process manager as well so if you are talking about isms specifically i would say just an operational knowledge is good enough same goes for a technical manager if a person is handling technical cyber security projects or any technical project in general understanding of policy procedure and how uh, a risk management works helps you well sir i am agree with uh, akshay 100% agree right so that was there i think 
yes and i think so we are back to your question original question is that uh, uh, from an information security manager what kind of questions do they expect from a, in a job interview see uh, at a position like that when you're talking about 8 to 10 years of experience expecting uh, you uh, expecting that they will ask you to name each and every control or each and every clause of iso 27001 is probably not going it will more be uh, like you have to ex justify your experience so far as in the information security domain and you have to justify what you have already done that will help you do the current role or the upcoming role in a good way and how you can contribute more to the current existing you have to first of all see the very first thing is that you have to justify the role that you are going to get to how you can do that is first you can say that i have the required skill set i have the required knowledge there are certifications at a manager level i have some certifications these this is you could showcase that i'm industry specific so the kind of questions that will be asked to you is more of scenario based they will be more from how did you tackle such a thing how what is you would be asked to explain a certain project if you are applying for an information security manager they would ask you did you how did you manage an internal audit how did you manage a, a, an iso certification that happened in your previous company scenarios will be given that if such a thing happens if a threat happens if an incident happens how is it that you are going to tackle who are you going to talk to obviously depends on the kind of job role uh, in, from a management perspective you're applying to if it's a generic one uh, you may be given generic or all types of scenarios if, if in my experience it's more from talking about what you've already done the kind of actual because they are interested to know what experience you bring have you uh, handled big projects have you handled big implementations have you handled teams have you been able to solve problems Have, are are you an independent manager will you uh, will you be a person who will be coming back to the management for small things or will you be able to uh, tackle things on your own are you going to reduce costs are you going to increase productivity so these are the things they are looking for it's not more from whether you can recite uh, the clauses to them or not obviously you need to know it and at some point you will be tested for it as well and if they don't ask it i would suggest that go ahead and showcase your knowledge of your domain your expertise over the domain in some way or the other uh, but it's more from us experience is what they are looking for so if they will ask you on your experience whatever whatever you write in your resume is key here because as a manager you have a lot to write about and you have to fit everything in in two pages so the key points of what key roles that you have done and what is it how is that very specifically beneficial for the role and the company that you are applying to i think that is what helps and questions from this abhinav and question whatever question comes from the hr or any technical department it comes from your resume also whatever you are writing in the resume question comes from that only so sometimes people write many things that okay let's give a chance but whatever you are writing questions comes from that only so make sure that whatever you are writing in the resume you 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 are skilled i mean uh, that skill you have uh, i agree i mean if we don't thoroughly prepare on our own cv that will lead to opening the the can of worms <laughs>